my name is David Fenn and I'm software engineer at the Origin project. I'd now like to give you a short demo of what we've built at Origin using the Definity Canister SDK. The high-level architecture of this demo will outline the minting of a temper-proof digital twin of a real-world luxury watch by outlining the functionality of three canisters. The first one is the Origin canisters. It stores most of the digital twins or certificates. The second one is the Origin asset canisters. This stores and serves the front-end Vue.js files. And we have the big map canisters. This sits uh, of canister allow us to store large files. So we already deployed the canisters on the internet computer. And as you can see, we have two browsers. On the left, we have the one from the watch manufacturer. And on the right, we have one for the watch manufacturer storefront boutique. So here uh, we are the manufacturer, Audemars Piguet Le Brassus, and we want to register. So we will just re register on the origin protocol. AP Le Brassus, we register. On the right, we are the boutique, and we register on the platform. So let's say we are AP Beverly Hills. Now, as a manufacturer, having just manufactured a new luxury watch, I want to create its tamper-proof digital twin on the origin protocol. So I will just go on the registration page, and I will just input the relevant watch data. Um, so I will select the branded model, select the reference number, select the assembly watch, location, watchmaker name, and I will input his uh, unique ID. At this point, as a watch manufacturer, I will upload a high resolution image of the front dial of the watch. And in the same time, I will upload a unique sound signature file of the tick of the watch. These files are quite large, and we will see later how we leverage Definity's implementation of BigMap, which allow us to upload large files to the internet computer. Now, again, as a watch manufacturer, I'm double-checking the information I've entered previously. The protocol checks the validity of the picture and the sound files, as we can see, the image validation model detected the watch and its bounding box. It all looks good to be minted. All set, we've minted the digital twin on the origin protocol. Let's look at the certificate details. Here we can see the certificate and all the details we've entered. We can see that we can transfer the certificate. We also have the watch timeline, which describes all the different events that could happen to this watch during its lifetime. There is the ownership history, and more importantly, we have access to the manufacturer data. This manufacturer data is used to ensure the unique identity of the watch on origin and will be used later on by the artificial intelligence engine that we are building at origin. In order to identify and authenticate a watch at any point in its lifetime using a smartphone. So as a manufacturer, I now want to allocate this watch to a boutique, the Audemars Piguet Beverly Hills boutique. For that, I will digitally transfer the certificate using the Origin platform. In the browser on the right, you can currently see that there is no watch in the Beverly Hills boutique's inventory. So I will trigger the certificate transfer 
by selecting the recipient of the certificate. AP Beverly Hills. And I will set a memo for this transfer. So the transfer has been successful. We can see that the watch timeline has been updated in line with the transfer in addition to the ownership history. So now let's check the AP Beverly Hills inventory. Now as a boutique I can see that I have received and own the unique digital twin of this watch and I am able to see all of the manufacturing data. So now let's talk about some technical challenges that we've solved with the help of the Definity Engineering team. If you watch the minting process carefully, you will have seen that we are handling large files upload to the internet computer. We upload high resolution pictures of the watch and sound signature files whose size can be up to 100 of megabytes. If you follow the ICP tungsten event, you will have seen the TikTok clone built on the internet computer that leverage the big map technique to store and retrieve large files. At Origin, we've worked closely with the Definity engineering team in order to integrate that into our protocol architecture. The integration was pretty simple. Now we will look at a piece of code relating to the JavaScript integration into the big map canisters. Basically, there is a 4 GB memory limit per canisters due to the WebAssembly design. In order to, to bypass this limit, we'll break our files into multiple chunks spread across multiple big maps data canisters. So you can see here, we just have set the chunk size to 500 kilobytes. The function upload files does it all. It will take the file, fetch the metadata, split the files into multiple chunks and upload each chunks into different big map data canisters. You can see that here we are turning the file into an array buffer and we are just chunking the file in different chunks and uploading them to Bigmap and uh, we are creating this manifest file that we are putting on Bigmap and uh, that's it. For the file retrieval, there is a snippet of the code that we use, the function get file. It is basically the reverse operation of the upload. First step is to retrieve the manifest file and parse it. And for each chunk in this manifest file, we will retrieve the chunks from Bigmap. Finally, we will just concatenate these chunks. So this is a quick overview of the Bigmap interaction with JavaScript. There are some other points that still need to be implemented on our side, such as access control of the data and Bigmap data rebalancing. So this was the demo of minting a watch on the Origin protocol, and I hope you enjoyed it. Big thank you to the Definity engineering team for helping us uh, shipping this demo.